Hello everyone, welcome back to Quantum Lathius and to our Minecraft Yoiscast Complete Pack Let's Play. Today we're going to be finally making the thing we've been working towards, which is the Crucible. So I've been back down into the mines, I've got myself lots of um, lots of lava buckets um, and some copper and iron, smelted it up. And um, as you can see, I all I also made some um, glass out of the sand that I've been getting. So the hardest part of gathering this equipment uh, and these materials that we needed was basically um, finding somewhere to get the clay. But if you look on my map, luckily I spawned right next to a massive river, so it was quite easy. Um, so yeah, I've been making some glass panes, but upgrading the uh, house a little bit so that we don't have any unfortunate incidents involving creepers that may or may not have already happened. So yeah, we're going to get started on this. So let's have a look. Crucible furnace, still got it open. What do we need? So, the first thing is burnt bricks. We're going to need quite a few of those. So we're going to need two for each crucible furnace. And, an, and a further four for each cru crucible furnace. So altogether we're going to need twelve. Um, and we don't need them for the heating components or the fluid tank. So let's get to work making 12 burnt bricks. To do that we're going to take some clay and make some clay bricks using one of these which is just clay in a square like that. No that's wrong, it is actually smelted clay. Take some copper out what we'll do, stick this in here and get to work on the other components. There we go. So they're making clay bricks which will use the vats downstairs along with some lava to create the seared bricks. So let's start planning this out on one of our crafting benches. Let's grab a lava bucket, in fact so let's grab two and we'll use these two closest to us to start planning this uh, this object out. What else do we need? Fluid tank. So let's make two of those. And as you can see the recipe actually makes two itself, so that's good. So we need some glass surrounded by copper and wood. So we'll take our copper and wood out. Uh, we need a piece of glass, so let's just smelt that up very quickly. So while that's happening, I'll just show you downstairs, I've made a little area for um, for our items to go. So I said that I'd be, uh, I'd be applying one floor to each of the quests, but I thought this can just be our sort of crafting workstation area. And downstairs, where there's not as much wood for <laughs> the lava to set fire to, I'm not sure if that occurs, but I wasn't willing to take any chances. Oops. So, <laughs> as you can see, you can actually put items in the vat. And um, I'm not actually sure how you get them back out, so that's good. So there's two dirt in there now. We'll have to see what happens to those. I'm not sure what that will create. What we'll be doing is putting the bricks in there, which will make the seared bricks. So we've got our glass out now. Oh, let's put our clay back in. Is that right? I think that's right. We should we should be getting oh yeah we should be getting twelve out. So yeah, let's stick them back in. Okay, uh, so our glass needs to be surrounded by wood and copper. Oops, right. I need to stop placing those down. So we put the glass down, and I'm bound to get this wrong. Yep. So let's just swap all these around. There we go. Two fluid tanks. Put one there, and one there. Next thing, burnt bricks were making a heating component, which requires, we're going to need 12 silicon carbides altogether, and each one of those is sand, clay, and coal. So, we're going to need some more sand, I believe. 
Um, do I have any in here? Aha. Um, I, I think that should be enough. I hope so. If not, I'll just go grab some more. So we need sand, clay and coal. And I think, is it a block of clay or something? Yeah. So we're going to need these as well. We might need some more clay. Okay, let's let's go grab that. Okay, welcome back. I've just grabbed some clay and we'll head back to our base, which is in that direction there. So, um, that should be enough, I believe. Oh, creeper. Let's stay out of its way. If we can get indoors, we'll be fine. Pretty sure I've sealed off all the entrances and exits. Yeah, we'll be okay. Let's sprint this final leg. And we're safe. Right, where were we? Um, so, we were creating these heating components, which we need four of, so we need 12 silicon carbides, and so we need 24 sand, good, okay. Let's turn all this um, clay into clay blocks so that goes in the middle the coal goes either side and then this goes here so we need 12 of these brilliant okay We're working our way there so let's make these heating components then and we can put these in the recipes. Great. Let's check on these bricks then. Good, they're all done. 48 bricks. And let's show you how this works. So, this needs lava to operate, so let's go get our lava buckets. And we'll probably use all of these lava buckets because it seems to be about one bucket to four-ish bricks. Uh, don't quote me on that though. So we'll fill our vat up. Okay, I think that's pretty much full. Um, and it will go down, bear in mind. And then we're going to put these bricks in. So if I made too many bricks, I might have done. One, two, three, four. I've definitely made too many bricks. <laughs> That's where the rest of the coal went. Not to worry. So let's put these in here. I think it's full because of the... Okay, so let's make our ladle first. That way I think we can get the dirt out. So that's just copper like that. Is this going to work? What are we ladling it out? Lava. Oh, so I've put some more dirt in there. Okay, give me two seconds to work out how to get things out of the vat. I'll catch you in two seconds. Hello, welcome back. Okay, so it's basically you equip your ladle and if you shift and left click, it will uh, remove... Uh, shift and right click, sorry, it'll remove the things that you've got in. So we're going to right click and put some bricks in. As you can see, you can see one poking out there. Um, and, I mean, let's just stick them all in. We've made too much, but we can keep them cooking, basically. 
So they're all in there now, and they're going to be turned into seared bricks. So what is the next step? Crucible furnace. We're going to get these burnt bricks, and we need this. So we need some iron bars. Uh, let's make those. So I'll just go grab some iron. And we'll need six, I think. Okay, so iron bars is just like this. That'll make 16, which is plenty. See how these bricks are doing? So when you right click, naturally, you'll get the um, the things that have been created out. So, so far we've got two burnt bricks. And we'll put another lava bucket in there because it's going down a little bit. Close up our inventory a bit as well. Um, oh, sorry, I had some, some ironing guts in there ready. So what's the other thing that we need? It's an ingot caster. Which is five burnt bricks. So we're just waiting on these burnt bricks now. And then we can finish creating the... Um, Crucible Furnace, see if we've got any more, four, okay let's skip ahead to the point at which these bricks have finished, okie doke, so we've got 17 burnt bricks now, we can start making the final pieces of our crucible, so let's just get the ingot caster out of the way, because we're going to need that. And then we need this, uh, two of these construction blocks, so we'll make those, which I think is like this, yeah, but we need twice as many, good, so let's put these on, and then the rest is just a couple of burnt bricks like that, et voila, two Crucible furnaces. We've got everything we need now, so let's try them out. Now I think we'll stick them in this corner down here, and to make the multi-block structure, you just need to stack two on top of each other like that. Put the ingot caster in this corner here. So what this does is it will melt down any ore that you give it, but we need to heat it up first, so let's put some coal in. And it's going to start slowly heating the crucible furnace up. Now tin ore has a melting point of 232 degrees Celsius. So once this reaches 232, it will actually start melting this tin ore down and it will double our yield. So before if we just smelted this, we'd get 25 tin bars, but now we're gonna get 50 and we can do this with pretty much any ore. Also, once it reaches a temperature required, so we can heat this up pretty high, it does take quite a while to come down. So although it's using quite a bit of coal now, once we get it high enough, we can take the coal out and leave it at that temperature, and then just stick all our ores in, and get all this nice liquid tin ore, or iron ore, or copper ore out, and that's when the ingot caster comes in. So what I'll do, is I'll just skip forward to the point at which it has reached a high enough temperature to melt down this tin ore and then we'll make some bars out of it. See you in a second. Okay welcome back. So if we look in our ingot caster now, in, in our crucible furnace I'm sorry, um, we have 16 tin ore left which is continuing to um, be processed into molten tin and we have enough molten tin in the in the crucible furnace to create 18 ingots. So let's use our ladle, and if we uh, shift right click, we'll, we'll get some out of the crucible furnace. And if you right click, then it'll put it in the ingot caster. You can see it's put it there. So we do this, and as you can see, when it cools, we get some tin ingots out. So let's let that cool. One, one already popped out, there they are, and we'll just right click, there we are, 
some tin ingots. So we can continue to do this and uh, brilliant. So we've got a way of doubling our yield. So let's look at the old let's look at the old quest book. So turning up the heat, a furnace is born, we've done this, crucible furnace, ingot cast a ladle. I'm smelting, so that's just to create two iron ingots in this way, which uh, I'll do before the end of next episode, and we get as a reward for iron ingots. So what's our next task? Our next task we're going to do is uh, create another method of doubling our yield, which is a more manual method, but it's useful if we run out of coal or anything. It's a fallback device. So the grindstone and the wooden crank are the two things that we need to create. So we'll do that next time, which shouldn't be too difficult. And um, maybe we'll be able to make a crusher as well, which is a third method. And we'll stick all this, um, these devices in this room, because then we can come down here, use any of them to double our yield, get as many bars as we can, which will help us an awful lot when we go on to making some of the Tinker's Construct and thermal machinery and probably mechanised production quests. Okay, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>